In Iron River, you'll have no problem finding that small town vibe. The self-proclaimed youpers give off this subtle charm that's hard to put your finger on. When I tell people where I'm from and I'm a youper, they always ask me, what is a youper? And it's hard for me to really explain. Perhaps the most known youper in this year's Olympics is Nick Baumgartner. This will be his third time competing on the global stage of the Winter Olympics in snowboard cross. Six of us start at the top, first one to the bottom wins. And from the start to the bottom, a lot of crazy things happen, which make it such a great spectator sport. It was all Nick Baumgartner early on on the right side of your screen in blue. But what's more crazy than a 36-year-old Uber making yet another trip to compete with the best in the world? With my experience, I just, I like my odds. I like my odds against these younger kids. Every Olympian has to start somewhere, though. Snowboarding wasn't allowed when Nick started. Turns out Nick's journey to the biggest of stages began by getting kicked off of hills as a kid. My boys were really good at not following the rules and they all snowboarded and got their passes taken away from them, but Nick ended up being really good at it. Mary Baumgartner says Nick's competitive drive was there as a child. And over the last 15 years, he's brought that matured passion to both Russia and Canada's Olympic Games. Just standing there with all these other parents at the bottom of the hill waiting for them and we're all holding hands and we're all, you know, who's going to come over that last jump? And as Nick and his family prepare for one more shot at a medal, they will lean on their community, which continues to give the inspiration that the small town kid has come to rely on. Woo! He's tried to explain that to the kids he races with because they don't come from small towns. It's just so cool. It's like, you know, the whole town is with me. And it gets them excited, but what I take out of that, I take that energy, and that's the kind of energy and the positivity that I'm taking with me. In Iron River, I'm Eric Crest, covering small towns for NBC 26.